So you're thinking about moving to San Antonio? Great. Today, we're going to talk about the top five neighborhoods in San Antonio, Texas in 2023. Let's get after it. What's up, friends? My name is Jonathan. I'm Trevor. And on this channel, we talk about everything that you want to know about living in San Antonio and the entire surrounding area. We're also licensed real estate agents here in San Antonio, which means not only do we enjoy making videos for you guys, we would love even more to help you with all of your real estate purchase needs. So feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll leave all of that information down in the description below. All right, we get a lot of questions, right? Uh, people ask us personally, hey, if you were to sell your house, where would you live in San Antonio, right? W what are the top five neighborhoods that you would choose to live in San Antonio? Well, Jonathan, right now we're in beautiful Alamo Heights. As you can see, we have behind us, we have the quarry. Um, man, this has got to be on the list for me. Alamo Heights is one of those neighborhoods that you just can't help but mention whenever you talk about some of the best neighborhoods within San Antonio. It's got that old town feel while still being in the heart of the city. Yep. You're maybe 10 minutes away from downtown and probably 15 minutes tops from the airport. You know, they say location is everything and it truly is. And it, it Alamo Heights really has that benefit working for it. Alamo Heights is beautiful from the schools to the homes. Beautiful spot, man. So one of the things I really like about Alamo Heights is just the unique uh, look of, of the neighborhood. Um, First of all, Alamo Heights is, we call it a neighborhood because it's really small, but it's actually its own municipality incorporated within San Antonio. It's got its own fire department, police department, you know, it's got its own government, small school, government. School district school as well. School district, everything. But we call it a neighborhood because it's small and you, it really does have that like small, um, unique neighborhood feel to it. All the homes look really different. They're so, they're just super cool, man, right? You just want to just, you can hang out here all day driving around and, and looking at all the unique houses. Absolutely. A lot of those houses were built in the 20s and 30s, and they're super old, but a even lot earlier, of, even earlier, absolutely. early 1900s, right? Absolutely. But a lot of them have been renovated, and I guess you can call it modernized, to where they have the new appliances, they've, they've made upgrades to the interior, while still having that old charm to them that that exterior feel man it's a beautiful neighborhood whether you have the time to walk by or drive through man it'll it'll steal your heart man it always does it did yeah. for me anyway i i love this neighborhood city small municipality man i, I think it's beautiful Next up guys, Stone Oak. I think Stone Oak is an absolute beautiful neighborhood. This is a neighborhood that's highly sought after and, and really has been for years. Even back since the early 2000s, everyone was wanting to move to Stone Oak. There was tons of new construction back in the day and now it's become more of an established neighborhood and there's not as much new construction, but the homes are still beautiful in the neighborhoods. The areas are still beautiful nonetheless. I would live in Stone Oak because of the terrain. If you look around, right, there's a lot of areas in the city where everything's kind of, you know, it's flat. You know, there may be a hill or two here and there, but if you come to Stone Oak, you really get that hill country vibe, even within the city limits. It's positioned just outside of 1604. So you're outside of the loop, but you're not too far removed from the city because of the stuff that you have to do here, right? The convenience of where it's located, it's, it's right next to highways 281 and State Loop 1604. And using both of those, you can kind of get to anywhere that you want to within the city. You have homes ranging anywhere from the mid 300s all the way up to multi-million dollar homes. I mean, huge, massive homes on cliff sides, man. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. If you decide to live and move to Stone Oak, it's gonna put you in Northeast Independent School District very highly rated uh, school district within Texas as well. They've got some great schools around here. For families that are moving out here and they're considering Stone Oak, one of the things that I think a lot of families love is like you talked about the location. If you're working downtown, you're just maybe 20 to 25 minutes away. And really that 25 to 30 minute mark is gonna put you anywhere, uh, whether it's the far west side of San Antonio, all the way north towards Live Oak and Randolph Air Force Base. Why I personally like Stone Oak is because it's so quiet. It's the type of neighborhood where I would 
really want to raise my kids. Again, there's multiple subdivisions within the community of Stone Oak and each of those subdivisions, most of them are going to be gated so they feel safe. You're going to have amenity centers within some of those subdivisions. So there's just uh, a lot to do. It feels very safe. It's very quiet. And again, it's conveniently located to everything that I would want to do with my family. Guys, neighborhood number three is Cibolo Canyons. This is another neighborhood that I would move my family to. I really like this, this neighborhood. It's very similar to Stone Oak. It's another master plan community outside of the 1604 loop off of Highway 281. Again, a lot to offer in this neighborhood as far as its amenities, multiple amenity centers in Cibolo Canyons, as well as nearby shopping. What Cibolo Canyons is known for really is the TPC golf course. There are two PGA golf courses located here within the community along with the Marriott Resort and Spa. When I drive through Cibolo Canyons the vibe that I get is relaxed. I feel like this is a really relaxed community. For people who are moving here from out of state that want the quiet suburban feel but still close enough to everything that San Antonio has to offer, I think that you would feel that way here in Cibolo Canyons. Now, again, you're outside of the 1604 loop, but you are still relatively centrally located. You're only 25 minutes from downtown, but you're also not very far from Canyon Lake. So again, if you like doing things outdoors, going camping, then this is a great community to live. With Cibolo Canyons being a master plan community, there are multiple subdivisions within the community. Most of them are gonna be gated communities. There are also going to be multiple builders within the community, Perry Homes and others, great builders that make immaculate homes, and you really see that as you're driving through the community. If you're looking for close family activities to do, then you are very close to Six Flags. You're about 25 to 30 minutes away, maybe a little bit longer. I'd say maybe 40 minutes away to SeaWorld. And the museums are going to be straight down 281 into the northern downtown area. So you are very, very close to some family friendly activities and just a lot of things to do. They even have a lazy river at one of their amenity centers, which is like yeah. really awesome. For yeah, the kids. don't, 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 and not just for the kids, man. Don't, don't catch me in the lazy river, man. I'll be in there for hours. <laughs> Ranch, man. This, okay. is a, this is a nice spot. All right. This is a nice spot. Man, here we are today, guys. Fair Oaks Ranch. Johnny, what do you think? I absolutely love Fair Oaks Ranch. This is probably one of my favorite neighborhoods, man. It's west off of I-10, mm. just south of Bernie, which is another great community. We'll talk about that in another video. Fair Oaks Ranch is actually its own city, mm. but there's only, the population is only 10 and a half thousand people, so we call it a neighborhood. It's split up into three different counties, Bear County, Kendall County, in Comal County. You're right on the edge of the Texas Hill Country, mm -hmm. so the scenery out there is gorgeous. You've got the rolling hills. Um, you've got space. I love that that community, man. There's something about Fair Oaks Ranch whenever you're driving out there that it kind of makes it feel like it's not even uh, uh, that close to San Antonio when it actually is. It's only about a 25 minute drive from Fair Oaks Ranch to downtown San Antonio. And it's a straight shot. So it is. just jumping on I-10 and just, you know, take it straight down into, into town. I mean, you're gonna hit 1604, which, are, which is our outer loop. From there, you can head east or west and you can continue it straight down into downtown. You can continue on I-10 and head out towards Houston. So it really is conveniently located. I mean, it's, it's, it's in a pretty good spot. I like yeah, it. Absolutely. And speaking of convenience, only about 10, maybe 15 minutes away from Fair Oaks Ranch, you have the Rim Shopping Center. You have tons of really, really good restaurants. I like to go out there with my family all the time. They've got some really good spots to eat. They've got a really nice movie theater. And on the other side of the highway, they have La Cantera, which is also like a mall, but it's outdoors. Beautiful space to take your family, especially on a nice day like this. People, when they come here to visit, and they're looking for homes, a lot of times they're reaching out and they're saying, hey, um, we're, we're thinking about Fair Oaks Ranch. I'm like, perfect spot, let's go take a look. So yeah, you, you, that's, a, that's a good one. All right guys, we're here at our final neighborhood. Very popular, a very popular 
neighborhood here in San Antonio, Alamo Ranch. I love Alamo Ranch. What do you what do you think about Alamo Ranch? I know you live nearby. I do, man. I live about two minutes away from Alamo Ranch, and I gotta tell you, man, I I love it from the convenience factor for all the shopping that there's nearby. Man, this this area of town has developed so much within the last really ten years. It's blown up. It's a huge master plan community. We've we've got we've seen a couple master plan communities today. Alamo Ranch is really is our San Antonio's largest master plan community, yes. right? Yes. So much to do here for families nearby. What, I mean, what do you what do you think about that? Man, there are movie theaters, there are walking trails. I can say for myself, I often go running through it throughout the neighborhoods in Alamo Ranch. And there's the nice thing that I appreciate that you don't get in every neighborhood is that there's a sidewalk almost everywhere you go. And that's big because half the time I'll go to different places and I'm running in the street. Like it's, it gets to be dangerous. So that's one benefit. If you guys plan on going on walks, you take your family out, you don't ever have to worry about, oh my God, is there a sidewalk? Can we only go to here? And to piggyback off that, you know, we're at the amenity center and it's right next to a school. Alamo Ranch has schools nestled within the community in several different areas and that's elementary, middle schools, high schools. So you're never going to have to drive that far to drop your kiddos off at seven o'clock in the morning whenever you have to go to work. It's really convenient. And if you need to go shopping, they've got the Alamo Ranch Shopping Center, which is right nearby off of Calabra in 1604. Huge shopping center, has everything you need. Grocery stores, your big box stores like Lowe's, Home Depot was right across the highway, 1604. Target, everything you need is just all right here in Alamo Ranch. All right, guys, there you have it. The top five neighborhoods in San Antonio that we would move our families to right now. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. It helps other people find the channel that are looking for content like this. Guys, whether you plan on moving in the next few weeks or the next few months, we'd love to help you make that transition. Again, we really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next one.